Hello there, good evening guys and welcome back to Fratini's channel. Um, as I hoped, we have another um, diamond painting arrived today from Huacan. Um, this I believe is what's called, is it the Arigato doll? Um, I think some sellers call it the Arigato doll. Um, but I ordered this diamond painting and I should have done this before I started. Um, right, I did this. So this diamond painting was ordered on, on the 30th of June and arrived today, the 12th of July. And it cost £13.95 in Great British Pounds. And it is a 45 by 60 centimetres from Huacan. So, with this order, I actually um, also ordered two giant um, bead trays. Now, I was fully expecting these to be delivered separately, but they came together, I think, in one package. Um, I can all already feel that this box is quite squished. Um, very squished in fact um, this this end here I don't know if you can actually see it's very very thin so the box is it looks like it's um, is completely squished but let's get this open and check it out so this was from Huacan I have actually um, ordered um, another diamond painting from Manhui, I think it's called. I wanted to check out some different sellers because just recently I've spent a lot of time ordering diamond paintings from Huacan and Never Moment, mainly because I've had such good e um, experiences with um, those two sellers. So I thought we would um, we would sample a few other. Um, let me just adjust my mic slightly. Um, I thought I would check out some new sellers um, just to see what other other sellers offer. All right, okay, so it's in the standard um, Huacan box. Wow, this is proper dented. Oh dear. <laughs> hopefully the canvas is. Um, hopefully the canvas is in relatively good condition. The box isn't filling me with confidence though and I can hear something rattling about okay um, right first of all here's the diamonds there are a few there's a loose one there so hopefully there's not too many loose ones in the uh, in the packet so there's the diamonds. We'll check them out in a minute. Yeah, there's a few loose ones. Oh dear. Okay. And it actually looks like the canvas has got pretty much unscathed because it's wrapped around a pool noodle. Like these little plastic, I'll call them pool noodles. Pool noodles, but they're not pool noodles because they're, they're way too thin to be a pool noodle. But the canvas looks like it's relatively unscathed. There's a few little dents in it, but I don't think that's going to cause too much of a problem with uh, with the actual canvas. There is a picture, the thumbnail of what she looks like. Um, from Huacan, it was actually classed as a cute doll, but other sellers call it the Arigato doll. Um, she comes in like lots of different colours. Um, and this is a 40 colour diamond painting and I believe it's a yeah it's a square diamond painting 45 by 60 and there's a quick look at the DMCs don't know if you can see that there's 40 colours and there's the symbols my camera is not doing very well at focusing today. Okay, so there's all the symbols. And it's a 40 colour, 45 by 60 centimetre. Okay. Um, is there anything else in the box? 
There is. I think we might have to go in. Whoops. I think we might have to go in the other end. Ah, okay. So we've just got the standard bead tray. Well, the white bead tray with... Um, hua can tweezers they're not bra oh they are they are branded um, hua can tweezers a huge chunk of wax and a white standard tray and a pen with a three three drill placer tip and the pen grip and we've also got which I've crammed into the same box Our giant drill trays! Yay! I've been waiting for these for ages. Wow, they are pretty huge. They're nice. Wow, look at the difference in the size of these. Let me get show the one that actually let's take it out of the out of the kit. Can you see what's going on okay? Okay, um, ouch, there's no, um, there's no cover on these tweezers, and I've just stabbed myself with the tweezers, um, but it's the, the Huacan branded tweezers, two large pieces of wax, it's also got the six drill tip placer, and the standard white tray, now look at the size difference, <laughs> Look how big that is. Wow. This is going to help me so much with um with my uh, with my diamond painting because I tend to spill my beads everywhere when I'm pouring my beads back into my containers. When I'm holding my my tray and I get some like beads stuck in this corner here, I tend to to like lift my tray up without realizing and to, to start moving the um, the diamonds back down the tray because they sometimes get stuck here and then without even realizing I actually end up spilling the remaining beads out of the end and they end up going all over my desk so I should be able to um, I should be able to prevent that happening with these new trays so these cost, I think it was three three pound um, for the two of them from Huacan, and I ordered them the same time as the diamond painting, and they arrived in the same package. Even though there was two separate orders, um, I bought the painting, and then I went back after I'd purchased the painting and ordered the the um, the drill trays. So they still sent them out together, which is good. But I still had to pay postage. Now, really, I wouldn't have thought this would have been. Because I, I actually paid, um, I think it was a, a pet one pound fifty one, I think, for extra po for the extra um, shipping method, just so I could get tracking. Because when you get normal China mail, it's very rare that you get a, you know, you can track your delivery. Whereas if you if you pay a little bit extra for AliExpress standard shipping, for example, you sometimes get your own um, Royal Mail barcode, and that's fully trackable right to the moment where it's delivered at your door and they even get a text message in the morning to say that it's out for delivery so I tend to just pay that extra pound and, and get the um, delivery upgraded and it tends to arrive a little bit quicker so yeah these drill, drill trays absolutely huge I'll have to try these out in one of my um, work in progress videos and let you know what they're like but so far I think they're going to be perfect so We've got the drill, we've got the tweezers, they are super sharp. There's no actual cover for the um, for the tweezers. So I need to be careful with them because someone's going to end up stabbing themselves like I did without realising. So all the tools are there. We've got the three drill tip placer and the six. And the pen with a grip, which is nice. So everything's there tool wise. Right. Um, well, I'm going to check out the diamonds in a minute. I just want to have a quick look at the canvas. 
Now, I actually thought this was going to be in um, worse condition than it actually is because of the state of the box. So thankfully, they've wrapped it in this little, celloph this little cellophane wrapping and the little polystyrene tube in the middle. Oh, I need to be careful I don't actually cut the canvas. I don't actually think I've had a painting from Huracan before that's actually come wrapped in this um, cellophane. I don't think I have anyway. It's been a while since I've unboxed one. <laughs> it, it's got to be at least, what, three weeks? So, clearly having withdrawal symptoms. Right, I'm sorry if the mic volume alters slightly because I'm using a different mic now and if I move too far away from the mic I do tend to um, to go a little bit quieter. So this is, th oh I forgot, there's tape on these. I forgot that who can put tape on their diamond paintings. Which I always seem to struggle getting undone. Let me see if I can find the... Go. Well done. Okay, so she's a 45 by 60, I think I said she was. Yeah, and the canvas feels the canvas feels really, really thin. Like the canvas actually feels more plasticky, whereas this one which is the um, the L that I'm working on at the moment. That actually feels quite thick, yet yeah, this is quite thin. Okay, so the, there's a quick another look at the, the symbols and the thumbnail. Hope you can see that okay. They're nice and clear anyway, the symbols. Okay, it's just a shame that my webcam doesn't focus properly. Um, yeah, the, can the the actual symbols look really clear. There are there's three th there's seven thousand and ninety one three tens. Um, we have one five fours. You've got three six three seven 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 sevens three six one four. I don't think I've actually used a three a seven 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 before. Eight one fours four three eight nine. So. There's quite a few different colours here. So let me... See, this is where I run out of room to do this when I'm sat at my desk. So what I think I'm going to have to do is stand up. So I'm just going to bring you up a little bit closer. There we go. Right. Um, right let's have a look at it, shall we? So it's in one, two three, four, five separate strips. There's a little plasticky tubey thing. Um, right, let's have a quick look at the canvas itself. Let's bring the camera around here a little bit. Let's have a look. Hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. Okay, right, that looks pretty pretty good. Uh, nice and sticky. The symbols nice and clear. You wanna take a look at the symbols? You're not getting too much glare. So I'm trying to think which way round this is. Okay, so she is she's going to be lengthways so what you're seeing here i think is going to be this section of the thumbnail the little flower section at the bottom so this is kind of odd because the key code is on this side whereas the painting itself is portrait but it has actually put the the symbols the right way around so if i was painting from this side 
so the key code was facing my direction they've actually put the key code the symbols the right way around so I'm not actually working in portrait if that makes sense okay um, let's check out the other one the only problem with having these ones with so many um, so many cuts to the canvas they don't it doesn't tend to stick down as, as good as it normally does. Okay, right, so that there then is, I think that is this section here. I think, but the symbols look really, really clear. So I'm happy with that. I'm not going to... Um, straighten it out completely because what I normally do when I I unbox a diamond painting because I have problems with storage I do tend to, to put them back in their uh, in their boxes until I'm ready to work on them oh wow that's pretty so that looks like so her head's going to be up this end so we'll have a look at that in a second but that section there I think is this so if you have a quick look at that Symbols look really, really nice, nice and clear. That looks really cool. And this is a square full drill as well, so all good. And let's check out the other side. Let's have a look, see if we can have a look at her face. It's got the Huacan branding on it in the top left corner. Right, so I think her face is going to be okay. They've both, they've gone over the, with the glue section a little bit too far here. Okay. So, what is that section going to be? No, I'm not entirely sure what that section is there. But I want to see a face. Okay, can't see a face yet. canvas looks quite dirty in places as well it looks like someone has had like like chocolate on the fingers and it's like smudged onto the canvas um, so that there I think is her I think that's the one that's in her hair yeah I think that's the one that's in her hair so I'm not sure where the face is though if she's faceless And there, of course, it won't stick back there in the way I peeled it off. Okay. But this method definitely does work with um, with unrolling um, diamond paintings. It's just that because I have nowhere to store them flat. I mean, I have got a portfolio, but I'm using that for my completed diamond paintings. I suppose I could put diamond paintings that I'm going to be working on in there but for now I'll just keep them in their boxes I can't get this to stick back down properly stick okay that will do okay so it's got the Hoover Cam branding on the top right hand corner canvas looks really nice Oh, okay, so if I'm holding her up to the light, um, 
I'm have just having it up to the light to see if I can actually see through the canvas. But I actually can't see her face. That is weird. <laughs> I can't actually see where her face is going to be. Right, let's have a look at the diamonds then, because I know there's a few loose diamonds. So let's check that out. Right, let's bring you back down here. And turn you this way. And then we'll bring... I think we're all right there, actually. Yeah. So let me just turn the canvas around. Okay, right, let's have a quick look at the diamonds then. Oh God. I'm throwing away my diamond trays before I've even used them. Right, so let's have a look. Right, there are a few open ones. Right, excuse me, guys, I'm going to have to put my desk fan on, so I'm sorry if you can hear any background noise, but it's just so hot. It is so warm. Okay, right, let's have a look, see. Right, these are all my three tens. Let's bring the camera around a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so these are all my three tens. 8,721 three tens. And how many? So, right. They've sent me 8,721, yet the canvas tells me we only need 7,091. So it looks like they've sent me, there's no sheet though, I've just noticed there's no inventory sheet. But I don't think Hoover can send, in, send inventory sheets, do they? Um, so we've got like a brown, brownie colour. We've got lots of browns, obviously, because she is like a maroony colour. Um, wow, look how staticky they are. Look, all I'm doing is just moving them around in the bag, and they're like they're shooting up at the. See how they go? They look like they're alive. Um, I have noticed that I've seen videos of other um, YouTubers doing unboxings of like their diamonds being like oily and greasy can't tell that these are greasy yet but they certainly are very very staticky oh wow look how nice that color is very very vibrant like orange wow these colors are like so nice very very vibrant lovely colors that one's proper packed to the brim. Um, we've got here like a sandy colour. 3865. Now I always find that there's so many different colour variations of 3865. This is more like of a cream colour, whereas the, the wolf that I was working on before was more like a white. Um, some more browns. You know, I am certain there's a few rounds mixed in with these as well. So this is a square. So as of yet, I have not yet completed a square diamond painting. But all the paintings that I'm ordering recently have all been square. So I hope to God that I enjoy doing squares. Because if not, I'm, I'm not going to be enjoying my diamond painting very much. Um, some nice, like, hot pink. That's nice. 399. No. 956 That's like a very like very very pale like sandy type colour. Um right we've got some few loose diamonds here but I don't know where what bag they've come from so I think I'm just gonna put them in my spare spare beads container. 
So I want to check that I've got 40 bags here. We can do a quick inventory while while I'm here. Some of the sticky labels have um, gotten themselves stuck. Okay, there's lots of reds, which is nice. I like bright coloured paintings. I think they're more. I, I, I find bright coloured diamond paintings more fun to work with than the darker ones. I think that's because I've not long finished a really dark and uh, very tedious wolf diamond painting. So I think working with something nice and bright is is nice. So that's another light. Th these are so vibrant colours. None of them look like they're oily from what I can see from the bags. So that's that's a plus. Um, some grey, some browns. Some like concretey type colour. None of the bags are open as far as I can tell. I think these must be just a couple of loose ones that have just escaped somehow. But um, there's not many loose diamonds at all. So there's only three loose diamonds, so it survived. Considering how beat up the box was. Right, I'm going to keep that anyway and I'm going to put the beads back in it. Right, let's just do a quick inventory. So it's so it's a four, 40 diamond painting. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So all the colours are all there. So thumbs up. Everything seems to be all there and accounted for. Canvas is in real good condition, com you know, considering how beat up the box was. Thankfully, it was rolled up in like a cellophane plastic um, cover. And it was also wrapped around a, cello, um, a polystyrene tube, so that helped it considerably. Um, all the beads seem to be all there, present and correct. There's just a few random beads like out of their bags, but there's no split bags or anything like that. So everything seems to be as it should be. So this was purchased from AliExpress. Um, it was from the Huracan store. Um, I ordered it on the 28th of June um, and it arrived with me today the 12th of July and um, it's a full drill it's a square diamond and it's a 45 by 60 and um, and it cost 13 pounds and 95 pence um, not including postage because I I paid a little bit extra so I could get a tracking number that I could follow and we also got the giant um, bead trays as well for they cost three pound 39 for the two of them um, I ordered them the same day the 28th of June and they arrived with me today the 12th of July 2018 so there is our unboxing for today um, I have got another two diamond paintings on their way to me. Um, one, the second one, the first one was from um, Huracan, and the next one I ordered from a different store completely. I think it's called Man Hui, and it's the Lisa store. So I've not ordered from them before, so I'm excited to see, you know, what what comes of um, of that painting when it gets here, and how long it'll take to get to me. Um, but yeah. All in all, this is another good diamond painting from Huracan. Highly recommended. 
um, I definitely give them a shot if you haven't already. If you're looking for um, a salad that you know that I would recommend, then I would definitely recommend Huacan. Obviously, some people have said that their painting, their their diamonds have come like quite oily and staticky. Now I've noticed in these bigger bags. Um, there's a few like flying diamonds in the bags but I think that's because they're almost vacuum sealed but I think that's because you know it's been flown by air so of course you know it it, it conforms a seal doesn't it so I think that's what causes a lot of the static um, there's no smell or anything like that sometimes the diamonds can come with like a very a very pungent smell if you get up really up close to the to the bag um, you can smell that musty smell, but sometimes the paintings that I get are quite overpowering with that musty smell, whereas this one isn't particularly. It's a little bit smelly, but it's not overbearing. It's it's you know it's it's okay. Um, so all in all, I'm really impressed with this canvas. So ten out of ten. So that concludes this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think of the quality of this mic as well. Um, as I said in, my, in yesterday's video, I have recently changed my microphone, so I'm not con I'm not confined to um, a headset with a headset mic anymore. This is uh, like a condenser mic, so I can pretty much move it around wherever I need it to be, um, and it, it doesn't restrict me as much as what my other headset did. Um, so let me know what you think of the quality of this. It's taken a lot of tweaking, a lot of um, messing around to try and get the quality decent. But hopefully it's, you know, it's, it's good enough for the purpose of these videos. Um, I will be back next time. I might do like just a little quick five minute video from my phone just to show you the, contain the, um, the storage unit that I purchased. Um, that I mentioned in yesterday's video so I might just do a quick video of that as well just to show you what it is and what I store in there and, and whatnot. so thank you for watching guys don't forget if you did like this video consider liking, commenting and subscribing if you did and um, I will see you all next time have a great day everyone and I'll see you soon bye bye